हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके टुडे टुडे आई एम पला खंडेलवाल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉप एमसीक्यू व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू द बैंकिंग इकोनॉमी एंड फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 11th ऑफ फरवरी 2022 सो द सीरीज इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल बैंकिंग एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट ओके सो नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 who was recently appointed as a chairman of pfizer india board of directors so the correct answer of this question is option a that is pradeep shah pfizer india has appointed pradeep shah as a chairman of its board okay he is the ex managing director and founding member of crisel prior to the founding crisel he assisted in founding hdfc in 1977 apart from that he has also served as a consultant to you said the world bank and the asia development bank apart from that pradeep is a director on the board of several reputed companies he is also a member of various prestigious committee and commission he is presently the chairman of india asia fund advisor he also holds an mba from the harvard business school and is also a chartered accountant and cost accountant Okay so now question number 2 every year on the second day of the second week of february what day is remember so the correct answer of this question is option a that is safer internet day so basically safer internet day is observed every year on the second day of the second week of the february with the aim of providing a safer and better internet where every user get to use the internet responsibly and without getting their data leak This year February 8 is being celebrated as a safer internet day across the world. This year marks the 19th edition of the Safer Internet Day with action taking place right across the globe. Okay so now question number 3 Which company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Karnataka to help rural women become entrepreneurs? So the correct answer of this question is option B that is Amazon India. So recently Amazon India signed an MOU with Karnataka State Rural Livelihood Promotion Society to support the growth of women entrepreneurs apart from that Amazon India will launch Sanjeevni Karnataka State Rural Livelihood Promotion Society in its platform and extended benefits of the Saheli program to train and empower thousand of the rural women entrepreneurs and also provide online access to the wider market for their product The Saheli program offers training and skill development workshop to help women entrepreneurs. Through this, Amazon and the government bodies will come together to assist and empower lakhs of women entrepreneurs associated with them from the four state to register their business with Amazon India and access a wider marketplace. Okay, so now let's talk about some important takeaways for all competitive exam. Amazon was founded on 5th of July on year 1994. Apart from that the Karnataka capital is Bangalore. Okay now tell me who is the CEO of Amazon? Please write your answer in the comment section. Okay so now fourth question which software company has partner with Microsoft to launch Microsoft Cloud? So the correct answer of this question is option C that is Sonata. So recently a global IT service and technology solution company Sonata Software announced its partnership with Microsoft. for its launch of Microsoft Cloud for retail the company has been partner with Microsoft over the three decades the Microsoft Cloud for retail collaboration is expected to further strengthen the relationship apart from that sonata software delivers solution for the retailers worldwide leveraging world class ips in house migration and modernization too Okay so now let's talk about some important takeaways for all competitive exam Sonata software headquarters situated in Bangalore and it was founded in year 1986 okay so now tell me who is the md and ceo of sonata please write your answer in the comment section okay so now question number 5 which state recently signed a memorandum of understanding with social alpha to explore clean energy technology So the correct answer of this question is option B that is Kerala. So recently Kerala government has signed an MOU with the Social Alpha Energy Lab 
that is Clean Energy International Incubation Center to support innovative and clean energy technology programs in Kerala. The government of Kerala signed this agreement through Kerala Development and Innovation Strategy Council and Energy Management Center. Apart from that, the Energy Management Center Kerala represents the Power Department Agency, including the Kerala State Electricity Board and with Agency for New and Renewable Energy Research and Technology to establish a clean energy incubation center to boost green energy development and energy conversation activities in Kerala. Okay, so now question number six. Which corporation recently expanded into Southeast Asia by acquiring a majority share in Kerlik, a Malaysia fintech firm? So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is Razorpay. So basically, Razorpay has expanded into Southeast Asia with the acquisition of majority stake in Malaysia fintech firm named as Kerlik, valuing a company between USD 19 to 20 million dollar. Apart from that, Razorpay expects to be complete the full acquisition in the next one and a half years. The Kula Lumper Base Kerlik builds solution for recurring payment for business. This marks Razorpay's fourth acquisition overall and its first in international market. Apart from that, this acquisition will allow us to quick ramp up and start scaling in Southeast Asia as a market. Kerlik has been powering recurring payment for multiple companies in Malaysia market. With them as a part of this team, we will be a local team that understand the market needs in Malaysia and Southeast Asia at large. Okay, so now let's talk about some important takeaways for all competitive exam. The CEO of Razorpay is Harshil Mathur and it is founded on year 2013. Okay, so now question number seven. What was the RBI's ranking as a gold buyer in 2021? So, the correct answer of this version is option D, that is second. So, basically, the largest buyer, the Central Bank of Thailand, bought 19 metric tons gold, while RBI bought 77.5 metric tons, taking its total gold reserve to 754.1 tons at the end of the December 2021. When it's come to the gold buying, the Reserve Bank of India emerged as the second largest buyer of yellow metal among the world's center bank in 2021. As per the Gold Hub, India's official gold reserve is the ninth largest in the world. So, the Gold Hub is the official website of the World Gold Council that maintains all the data regarding precious metal. Okay, so now question number eight. Which social media company just announced the global launch of Take a Break, which include India? So, the correct answer of this question is option A, that is Instagram. So recently, Instagram has announced the launch of Take a Break in all countries, including India, to empower people to make informed decisions about the way they are spending their time. This feature will be promoted in India through a campaign in partnership with We the Young called Break Zaruri Hai. Take a Break was the first launch in the US, UK, Canada, New Zealand and Australia and it is now available for everyone globally. Okay, so now question number nine. Who has been named Secretary of the Ministry of Finance Department of Financial Service? So, the correct answer of this question is option B, that is Sanjay Manohotra. So, Sanjay Manohotra has been named as a Secretary in the Department of Financial Service in the Ministry of Finance. He is a 1990 batch IS officer of Rajasthan. Before this, Sanjay Manotra was a chairman and managing director of REC Limited. Apart from that, Manotra has executive power sector experience, the reform-based result link power distribution sector scheme to be applicable till 2025 to 2026, aims to reduce India's AT and C loss to, to 12% to 15% gradually, narrow the deficit between cost of electricity and the price at which it supply to zero by 2024 to 2025. Okay, so now last question. Which state just announced a new IT and ITES policy aimed at creating one lakh direct jobs? So, the correct answer of this question is option B, that is Gujarat. So, the Chief Minister of Gujarat has announced new IT and ITAS policy for the next five years. Under this policy, this policy will provide financial incentives of up to Rs 200 crores 
to the entities willing to incur capital expenditure. It will also generate employment about 1 lakh youth. It also seeks to increase IT and ITES exports from the current rupees 3000 crores annually to 25,000 crores over the next 5 years. Its operative period will be started from the day of notification to 31st March 2027. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you like this session. These were the important news and events for today which are related to the business, economics and financial sector. We meet again with the some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe GK today.